And then out of the blue, I don't know how this happened, but Nancy's brother Joe sends a book of messages of Medjugorje. But I don't know why. Nancy's brother Joe sends a book of messages of Medjugorje. But I don't know why. Nancy's brother Joe sends a book of messages of Medjugorje. But I don't know why. Nancy's brother Joe sends a book of messages of Medjugorje. Come on, man. Nancy, man, like that. She said, oh, it's, a, "It's a book of messages of Medjugorje where some kids say they see the Mother of God." He said, "It's a book of messages of Medjugorje where some kids say they see the Mother of God." He said, "Yeah, sure. Everybody sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. Every every person sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. Every person sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. Every person sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. Every person sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. Every person sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. Every person sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. Every person sees the Mother of God. Yeah, right. 因為話咩見到聖母啊，又話佢信聖呢啲嘢完全。And I thought I would never see these again, ever. 咁我諗我完以後都永遠都唔會再睇呢本書噶啦。But we're moving. We got a house here in Richmond. We're moving from Richmond to the house down in the West End. 跟住我哋就 Richmond 李志文搬去誒温哥華嘅西區。We bought a house down on Bidwell Street in in the West End. And we're moving, and Nancy finds the messages in the house right here in Richmond. 咁我哋喺搬屋執嘢嘅時候咧，有時揾翻呢本書出嚟喎。And in one second, she turns and puts them back in my hand. 咁佢即刻將本書遞咗俾我。But listen to her words. 佢點講咧 ？She says, "Here, my pagan husband." 佢話：嗱，我呢個。You throw, you throw these away. 我呢個異教唔信主嘅老公要掉就你掉呢本書。It's on your conscience. 係你良心嘅問題。My conscience, not hers, not hers. 我良心冇愧㗎。This is my problem. 呢個係你嘅問題。Nancy says, "Here, pagan husband, you throw these away." Nancy 話 Patrick 要掉就你掉。And she fully expected me to just pitch him, but the word conscience wouldn't let me throw these away. I said, "What's inside here?" What's in here? That's going to be on my conscience. What's in here? 咁 Patrick 本來想掉啦，但係 Nancy 講開良心呢個字，就令到佢掉唔到本書。於是佢話：，咁本書入邊有啲乜嘢嘢咧 ？So I opened it up. 於是我打開嚟睇下啦。The very first message I read on Medjugorje. 第一個麥珠江嘅信息我睇到嘅就係 Our Lady said. 聖母話 ：I'm calling you the conversion. 我而家叫你去悔改。For the last time， 係最後一次。I'm calling you for the last time。我最後一次叫你。And I don't know what happened。Something happened inside。我唔知究竟發生咩事，我就係知道喺我心入邊發生咗啲轉變。And the tears started to run down my face。跟住我開始流眼淚。The second message is worse。跟住第二個信息仲大鑊。Our lady said。I've come to tell you God exists. 聖母話：我嚟到係想話俾你知，天主係存在嘅。And I'm standing there with the tears running down my face. 連我企喺度，眼淚繼續喺度流。And I went and found Nancy in the house, and I'm so mad. I said, Why didn't you tell me about these messages? 跟住我走入屋，見到 Nancy， 我同佢講話：點解你唔話俾我聽有呢啲咁嘅信息 ？Why didn't you tell me they were true? 點解你唔話俾我聽啲信息係真嘅？ Nancy, these kids are not making this up. These are true. These are real. Nancy, these children are talking about is true. I read them and I believe them. I saw it, so I believe. Just like that. I don't know where Magigori is. I don't know who a visionary is, but I knew what was written in here was true. I at that time didn't know where Magigori was. I didn't know who the visionary was, but I knew what was written in here was true. I at that time didn't know where Magigori was. I didn't know who the visionary was. Broken promises, not baptizing my kids, no church, nothing. But I saw that every life, no God, no prayer, no baptism, no baptizing my kids, no church, no nothing. And the lady says, "I'm calling you for the last time." And the lady says, "I'm calling you for the last time." And the lady says, "I'm calling you for the last time." And the lady says, "I'm calling you for the last time." And the lady says, "I'm calling you for the last time." And the lady says, "I'm calling you for the last time." And the lady says, "I'm calling you for the last time." I've read every message our lady's ever given from Medjugorje. 
You couldn't take ten steps into my house without me saying, "Have you read my messages?" <laughs> These are now my messages, by the way. Did you know nobody else in the world had a book of magic or except me? <laughs> But I still don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Until I see this sign that said Medjugorje Conference, Eugene, Oregon, May '91. So I go, I come running home. I said, Nancy, come on. There's, 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 there's a Marian Conference in Eugene, Oregon, and we gotta go. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go to this conference. And Nancy says, okay, 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 come on, we'll go, we'll go. Nancy says, oh, 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 let's go. So we get ready to go to the conference. So we get ready to go to the conference. And everything in the house goes wrong. Before we went to the conference, before we went to the conference, Our youngest one, who was going to St. Michael's school, what did you say you thought? You know the Anglican that baptized himself? <laughs> the principal phones up and says, "Your son is expelled from school." He's expelled from school, and we don't want him back. He's 15 years old. I said, "What did he do? Come on, what happened?" They said he's dealing drugs. Go ahead, how would be fine? Don't how's that one? Never mind the alcohol. Never mind the drug abuse. Don't need to know you tell. He's dealing drugs. But he talked about doing fine. Don't. And we don't want him back unless he goes to a rehab for six months. 除非佢去一個教育中心六個月住六個月，如果唔係佢唔會再翻嚟間學校噶啦。So he comes home from school. 好啦，咁我就翻嚟啦。Now he starts to grow the Rastafarian, the dreadlock. Baggy pants, and he looks like a druggie. I'm on to his iPad. I could tell you, Zhang Hao Qi, he got to find him. And there's nothing I can do with him. Nothing. He won't go to rehab, so he can't go to school in this province. I'm not going to school. 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 Jason, six foot five, looks happy to go. Rugby player, five nights a week he practices rugby. 每一個禮拜有五晚佢都係練習 rugby. Five nights a week he's in the bar after rugby practice. 每一次練習完之後都會去酒吧 I said, Jason, I don't think you're a rugby player. I think you're almost an alcoholic. 於是我同佢講話 ，Jason， 你似乎係於酒喎。He said, "No, Dad. Everybody drinks beer that plays rugby." Jason 話：，係個老大咁噶啦。And you want to know what you do with a kid six foot five, two hundred twenty pounds? <laughs> Nothing. 對住一個六尺二百二十磅嘅仔，我咩都做唔到。Nothing. 咩都做唔到。So I got one who can't go to school for drug abuse. I got a nineteen-year-old. The plays rugby and drinks beer every day, and I have a daughter. 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 I I called her in the office. I said, "Michelle, what are you doing? Married and divorced. Married and divorced. What are you doing, these guys?" You see, I'm talking about being divorced. Michelle, you're doing something. You're doing something. You're doing something. No, she said. She said, "What? What did you do, Daddy?" She told me, "Daddy, what did you do?" Those are the saddest words I've ever heard. She said, "What?" She was an exact copy of me. I was hanging out with some kind of shit. And the oldest boy, I don't know where he lived. I don't know where he lived. He was here in the Lower Mainland, but I didn't know where. 
And that's how we were. That's how we live. That's how we really were. But if you drove by my business, it looked fantastic. But you ever cut an apple and happen to see the core wrong? That was me. Look good on the outside, but rotten on the inside. And that's how we live. And the only thing I have is a book of messages. Now how is this little book of messages going to change anything? And the only difference was, I believed these messages. I knew they were true. And that's the difference. So I said, Nancy, we're still going to go to this conference with all this confusion. So I told Nancy, oh, so you got so many things, we're still going to go to this conference with all this confusion. And so we go to the conference and we take the youngest one. This is my dad, my two sons, the child, the child, the conference. My little Rastafarian Anglican. You know, you know, sick of it. Then I don't know what to do with them. I can't leave them home. Oh, my children are okay, so I'm not going to go to them. And we go down to the conference. So we go to the conference, lah. And that night there was a priest there. His name was Father Ken Roberts. Come on, my other son. We go, Father Ken Roberts. And I said, "Is this conference all about my messages?" Come on, Father. This this conference is about my messages. And he pats me on the head and said, "Yeah, yeah, they're all about your messages." He's a good pastor. Patrick told me, "I, I am." But he said, "You got to come to this mass tonight. We're going to do something special." But I said, "Wow, Patrick, this morning you will come on your side." So we start. Mass starts. He stops in the middle of the mass. And he says, "I want everybody to do something special here tonight." He says, "I want you to consecrate your children to the Immaculate Heart of Mary." I want you to consecrate your children to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I want you to consecrate your children to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Consecrate your kids to the Mother of God. And that's the most incredible idea that ever went in my head. I knew our lady was real because she wrote my messages, but I don't know how to do that consecration. And he said, I want you to do that consecration now. So he sits down, and I stood up, and I'm the only guy standing in the whole conference. You see. And all I ever did, I just put my arms up like this. And I said, "Blessed Mother, take my kids." And you be the parent that I never was. Because I'm a total failure. I was never a parent. I was never anything to these kids. I was never anything. I never baptized these kids. I never took them inside the church once in their life. I never prayed with them once in their life. Blessed Mother, you take them. 对我孩子嚟讲，我乜嘢都唔系。我冇同佢哋祈祷，冇带佢哋翻教会。我话圣母啊，你代替我。And you be the parent that I never was. And I don't know where those words came from. I don't know. They just came out of my heart. And I'm begging the mother of God to save my kids. And that was the very first time I said a prayer. My whole life. The very first time I said a prayer, and that was the start of our long road back to the Catholic faith. That was the start of our long road back to the Catholic faith. That was the start of our long road back to the Catholic faith. That was the start of our long road back to the Catholic faith. That was the start of our long road back to the Catholic faith. That was the start of our long road back to the Catholic faith. Our lady's main message of Medjugorje is pray the rosary. 
我話 Nancy， 我最多日聖母嘅主要信息就叫我哋嚟玫瑰經。She says because this simple prayer makes miracles in your family。因為呢一個咁簡單嘅祈禱，將會喺你家庭入邊產生奇蹟。When you pray, you have no fear of the future。當你祈禱嘅時候，你唔會害怕將來。When you fast, you have no fear of evil。當你齋戒嘅時候，你都唔會懼怕呢個罪惡。I said Nancy, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? 我哋有咩可以損失咧 ？Let's start。我哋開始啦。And that's what we did. It was a simple decision. It was only a decision to start to pray. Because our lady says, this will make miracles in your family. 就係咁簡單個簡單嘅決定，開始，因為聖母話呢個最簡單嘅決定。Very first rosary I ever said in my life was with Nancy at that conference. 我第一次念嘅玫瑰經就係同 Nancy 一齊念嘅啦。Our Lady says in my messages, <laughs> go to Mass at least on Sunday. 聖母喺佢嘅信息入邊話，起碼星期日參與一次。Our Lady says go to confession once a month. 每個月起碼有一次去辦道界領收穫聖事。Our Lady says read a little bit from the Bible every day, a little bit, and try and live that every day. 每一日都喺聖經入邊睇少少。And the toughest message Our Lady gives is fast Wednesdays and Friday. 我最難嘅咧就係要星期三同星期五齋戒。I've never heard the word fasting。我之前從來未聽過齋戒呢個字啊。But we made a decision to try and live these messages as best we could。但我哋決定盡我哋所能去跟住啲信息去生活。So we started。於是我哋開始。And by living the messages, our Lady brought us back into the Holy Catholic Church。就係透過活出呢啲咁嘅信息，聖母慢慢將我哋帶翻嚟天主教會。Our Lady saved my life. 聖母拯救咗我嘅人生。Because I lived with both feet in hell my whole life until I had these messages. 因為喺我睇到啲信息之前，我根本係兩隻腳已經踏咗入地獄噶啦。And our marriage started to change. 而我同 Nancy 嘅婚姻咧，亦都開始改變。If you really want to be in love, pray together. 如果你真係想，兩人相愛，説話一齊祈禱。Because when a husband and wife pray together， 因為當兩公婆一齊祈禱嘅説話 ，the word divorce I'm leaving is not possible to come out of your mouth. Not possible. You can't. 兩夫婦一齊祈禱，冇可能離婚嘅。And we started to really grow in love with our marriage because we put God first. 當我哋將天主擺第一位之後，我哋嘅婚姻就越嚟越好啦。Everything started to change. 所有嘢都開始轉變。And you know what happens in the house when the father starts to pray? 当个父亲开始祈祷嘅时候咧 ，the house changes. The house changes completely. 成个家庭就屋企都会。The kids go into shock. 嗰啲孩子完全系震惊啊 ！Dad's praying the rosary. Dad's going to mass. Dad's going to confession. They didn't know how to handle it. 佢完全接受，唔知點樣面對一個人突然間會開始祈禱，開始翻出，開始會拜父嘅父親。And that's exactly what we did. We just started to live the messages. 我哋所做嘅就係咁簡單，就係開始跟住啲信息而生。And before we knew it, Nancy and I were back in the Holy Catholic Church. 不知不覺，我哋已經翻翻天主教會啦。Then we tried to get the kids to pray. 於是我哋嘗試，我哋啲孩子都一齊祈禱。What do you think they said? 你估佢哋點講啊 ？Oh, Daddy, we just love to. 你哋同佢哋話啊，我哋真係想祈禱啦。Not a chance. 冇可能 ，not a chance。完全冇可能 ，especially my little Rastafarian。有幾次入咗聖公會嗰度 ？But the lady says in my messages persevere。但係我話我啲信息係恆久嘅。Three years of asking him to pray the rosary。我叫我邀請佢同我一齊練玫瑰經三年啦。Till he was almost nineteen years old。直到佢差唔多十九歲。And we had a rosary group in the house。喺我哋屋企入邊嗰晚有一個誒玫瑰小組。I said, hey, you want to pray the rosary tonight？ 我話，你想唔想今晚一齊念玫瑰經啊 ？And he said yes。跟住話，好啊。First time， 第一次。First time。And we saw him start to change. We saw him start to change。跟住我哋開始見到佢嘅轉變。When we went to Magigoria almost fourteen years ago, he came with us. 我哋十四年前去墨尔本嘅時候，佢同我哋一齊去。And he tried a lot of different stuff. He was going to be a brother. He was going to do this. 
。咁佢試過好多唔同嘅嘢啦，嘗試睇下適合做收視啊咁。And nothing really worked for him. But one of the things he did. Six years ago, five years ago, he phones me from Innsbruck, Austria. He called me and he said, "Dad, Dad, I'm in love with Veronica. We're going to get married in Austria." He said, "He said, Daddy, I'm in love with Veronica. We're going to get married in Austria." He said, "He said, Daddy, I'm in love with Veronica. We're going to get married in Austria." He said, "He said, Daddy, I'm in love with Veronica. We're going to get married in Austria." He said, "He said, Daddy, I'm in love with Veronica." But he said, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something special for the wedding." But he told me, "Dad, I want something He said, "Dad, twelve years ago you consecrated us to the Mother of God." God, Daddy, twelve years ago you gave us the Holy Spirit to be sanctified. Dad, that consecration saved my life. This Holy Spirit saved my life. Dad, will you come to my wedding and do that consecration as a wedding gift for Veronica and I? Daddy, I hope you come to our wedding and do that consecration as a wedding gift for Veronica and I. Those are his words, not mine. And I have tears reading this letter. 喺度睇一路喊。How could this kid write this? How is it possible he could put that in writing? 佢點解可以寫到咁咁嘅信喺寫到封 ？But that's what he wanted for the wedding. 呢個就係佢想要嘅結婚禮物。So we go up to Innsbruck, Austria. 所以我哋就去到。Be beautiful wedding way up in the mountains. 喺山入邊舉行嘅婚禮非常之美麗。In the meantime, he had become Catholic. On his own, I had nothing to do with it. And as a result of their wedding, they now have two of the most beautiful kids you've ever seen in your life. They're our grandchildren. And the reason they're so beautiful, they look like me. He phoned me up. About two months ago, two months ago, he called me and he said, "Dad, I wrote a book." Dad, I wrote a book. I said, "Dad, I wrote a book." I'm sending you a copy. I said, "What do you mean you wrote a book?" He said, "Dad, I wrote a book. I'm sending you a copy." I said, "What do you mean you wrote a book?" He said, "Dad, I wrote a book. I'm sending you a copy." I said, "What do you mean you wrote a book?" He said, "Dad, I wrote a book. I'm sending you a copy." Anyway, I thought I had the book with me. I said, "What's the name of your book?" He said, "Oh my God, Zai, you don't know your name." The name of the book is "What Is a Father?" What is a father? The name is "Father." What is a father? He works for the Sisters of Saint John Bosco in Austria, and he looks after the most troubled kids in the whole town. He works for the Sisters of Saint John Bosco in Austria, and he looks after the most troubled kids in the whole town. He works for the Sisters of Saint John Bosco in Austria, and he looks after the And most of these kids don't even know who their father is. So he wrote this beautiful book. So he wrote this beautiful book. What is a father? What is a father? And I was never a father to him. But he's an incredible father to his kids. So he's amazing. The sisters of Saint John Bosco have him in charge of all of the troubled kids in the school. His whole life changed completely. That's from consecrating him to the Mother of God, to the Messengers of Medjugorje. That's what the consecration did. Jason, who we had lunch with today, my middle son. He's still six foot five. He's still two hundred twenty pounds. He phoned me from Vancouver when we were in Medjugorje, and he said, "Dad, I'm coming for a visit, and I'm not coming to pray because you pray too much." When I was in Medjugorje, Jason told me that I was not coming to pray because I prayed too much. When I was in Medjugorje, Jason told me that I was not coming to pray because I prayed too much. When I was in Medjugorje, Jason told me that I was not coming to pray because I prayed too much. 
And he, thought, he was heading down to the village, and I thought he'd be spending all day in the village drinking. Five o'clock, he's back at the house. I said, what did you do today? What, what happened to you? Where have you been? Dad, come on, daddy. I went to confession. Dad, I have permission from Father Philip of St. James Parish to go to communion tomorrow morning. St. James I was speechless. I couldn't believe it. But he did. Went to confession. Went to communion for the very first time in his life in Medjugorje. He flew back to Canada. He flew back to Vancouver here. He phones me in Medjugorje. He said, Dad, I quit the rugby. I quit the lifestyle. I'm finished with the drinking. And I got a new job, Dad. I'm on the Vancouver Fire Department. I said, slow down, big guy. Slow down. How did you do that? How did you quit the rugby? How did you quit the drinking? How did you get the new job? Jason, what happened to you? You want to know his words? Praying the rosary you gave me in Medjugorje, Dad. His exact words were, Dad, it was pounding those beads. <laughs> Those peaks. <laughs> That's very good Chinese. <laughs> Thank you. And we had lunch with him today. He asked me how the priest was, but he went to confession with I said he's been sent back to Chicago. But he's still a good priest. <laughs> Jason came back a second time with his wife, little Brooke that he married. And then they all have two children, little Cooper and little Sawyer, who we spent the whole day with yesterday. Or today, actually. <laughs> his whole life changed completely. And he only came to Medjugorje once when he was single. He said, Dad, that changed my life. That's what Our Lady did for Medjugorje. That's what she did. I didn't do anything. I just consecrated them. That's all I did was consecrate the kids to the Mother of God. And then I had to do my part, which was pray. And when the guys start praying, let me tell you what happens. Everything changes. Because the guys always tend to tell the kids, oh, your mother's praying, go pray with her. <laughs> How many times have you guys heard that? Go pray with your mother, your mother always prays. <laughs> but when the father starts to pray, the house changes. I guarantee it. And it was the hardest thing in my life to do to start to pray. Because I never prayed in my life. But I said, this makes miracles. And we saw it with our eyes. With our own kids. My daughter phoned up. Daddy, I'm married again. I said, oh, to who? <laughs> she said, Daddy, he's a mathematics professor from Victoria College. His name is Stephen. Victoria College. Stephen. She said, Daddy, he's got a hobby. I said, okay, wow. What's this guy's hobby? Daddy, he writes religious songs. He has a, he has a hobby writing religious songs. I said, honey, this guy's a keeper. <laughs> and they didn't do anything right. Nothing. They didn't get married in church. They didn't get married in the Catholic faith. They got married in the deal that he wrote. And that really broke my heart. And then I realized, 
It's not her fault she didn't get married in church. It's my fault. I never showed in the church once in her whole life. It's not her fault. That's the sin of a parent.